done. Are you hearing me? It's done. It's over with. God is up to something big and new in your life in 2016. Somebody ought to just give him a praise. So here it is. You're going to be blessed. The entire world, the overflow, and in this auditorium. So grateful for this man of God. He's no stranger here at the Faith Center. Glad to have you back. My son, my mentor, my, the, the one who keeps me laughing. I watched a video, uh, a YouTube video of you. You were at the late Zachary Tim's church. I think you had over a million views. Two million views. I almost, I'm telling you, man, you're funny. You're funny. And, and I'm, you better be funny tonight because after what I just did, <laughs> you're on your own, Doc. Please stand and welcome to the Fade Center, Broderick Rice. Come on, we can do better than that. Will you help me thank the Lord for Bishop Henry Fernandez? Come on, more noise. Thank the Lord for him. I don't know where his wife is. Thank the Lord for her as well. I want you to touch your neighbor right now. I need some musicians. Act like we about to start something. Just, I want you to just touch your neighbor right now. And I want you to, y'all not touching your neighbor. I don't see enough people doing it. Touch your neighbor right now. And say, neighbor. Tell him, say, oh, neighbor. Look at him and say, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Look at him right now in the eye and say, don't touch me no more. Go on and tell him this. <laughs> you ever been in church and somebody just keep touching you? Cause the pastor keeps saying, hey, touch your neighbor and tell him this. Touch your neighbor and tell him that. Too much touching going on sometimes. And you know what? I watch people when I go to the bathroom and... Not everybody have the ministry of washing hands with soap and water. They do whatever they do there and then walk right out the bathroom without even looking in the direction of the soap and the water. Look at somebody say, don't do that. Don't touch them, though. Don't, don't touch them, man. That's wonderful. I love going to church. I love, and look, look, look around here. Crowd, this building is full tonight. Come on, Sunrise, Florida. Look at somebody and say, it wasn't always like this. Look at him say, I wasn't always in church on New Year's Eve. Uh-huh, don't tell him where you were, though. <laughs> you want him to respect you. I'm so delighted to be here to share on New Year's Eve. Jonathan Nelson in the house. Y'all ain't making no noise, y'all. Y'all y'all got the best of the best. I want to honor my pastor, who I hope is watching by television tonight. He released me to be here tonight. Pastor Eric Cobbins and Pastor Valerie Cobbins of the Worship Center of Kansas City. Make some noise for my pastor. <laughs> Wherever you are, Pastor, I hope you're watching. A raise, a raise, a raise, a raise. I, uh, I grew up uh, in a Baptist church. Anybody from the Baptist church? I'm going to know when I start singing this song. If you from the Baptist church, you'll know this song. You'll know I am on the battlefield for my... Oh, it's some Baptist. I am... For my... Come on. And I... I would serve... The battle, the end with an attitude for my Lord. That's the way black people end their song. They got to end that song with an attitude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you better leave me alone. <laughs> Stop looking at my husband. Because I will cut you <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. <laughs> you know, I've heard... <laughs> I've heard some people speak over other people, and they say, oh, man, this going to be your year. You can't let everybody tell you that. <laughs> man, I tell you, one time somebody spoke over me and told me, said, this, this year is going to be your year. Man, I lost my job. <laughs> Two 
dogs bit me on my left ankle. <laughs> I tell you, I said, ooh, dear, you can't let everybody speak over. You know, I thank the Lord. Play softly, medicationally right now, softly, medicationally. I want to flow in the pathetic. <laughs> That's right, I said pathetic, not prophetic. Pathetic means it's just going to be silly and crazy. I, uh, I grew up in the Baptist church and they didn't let us speak in tongues and I always wanted to speak in tongues and they wouldn't let us speak in tongues and I'm a Baptist church. And uh, so I made up my own tongues. <laughs> Somebody in here know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, I just found things that I just threw together and just say words I already know real fast. And I'll be in tongues. I'll be like, hey, how you do your pillow banana? Then after a while, I got good at it. I could create tongues that met a certain need. Like if I was hungry, I create a hungry tongue. I'd be like, hey, burrito. <laughs> if I needed a new place to live, I had a tongue for that. I had, I, I just burst out and just say, Ikondo. Ikondo. Don't need a house right now, but a condo. <laughs> Keep playing medicationally. I've got to share this and somebody up under the sound of my voice might be able to relate to what I'm going through. Several years ago, I struggled with an addiction and I didn't know how to tell anybody about this addiction because in church, you know, you can lose your parking spot <laughs> and your title. You go from being bishop to just brother. <laughs> and I like my little titles and but I struggled with an addiction. And I can, can I just share with you tonight? Can I help somebody else get free? I struggled with an addiction for seven years uh, to honey buns. Ooh, I felt something right in this section. That same, ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling y'all, listen, listen. I, I, even when I would do good, look at somebody say evil. Sometimes I wouldn't be thinking about no honey, but I go to get $20 at the gas station on pump number two. And then I go up there to pay for the honey bun, go, go to pay for the gas, and it'd be three honey buns up there, amen, at the counter on sale. And I knew the Lord wanted me to have the honey buns because it was three of them. One for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. See ya! So I said, listen, give me, give me 17 on pump number two. <laughs> I got to have the Trinity. Then I start playing psychological games with myself. I said to myself, I ain't gonna eat all these honey buns on tonight. I'm gonna eat them over the next several weeks as I achieve certain goals and objectives. But how many of y'all know, in the middle of the night, the devil took advantage of me while I was vulnerable. And I was getting ready to eat one, but then the scripture came to me that said two are better than one. And a threefold cord is not easily broken. But if you're going to eat a honey bun, I need you to eat it right. I'm going to preach this like a Baptist preacher. If you're going to eat a honey bun right, you can't just open up the honey buns and start eating greedily. What you need to do is take that honey bun and put it in a microwave. Somebody felt that thing on a New Year's Eve. Mm. 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 I kept eating them honey buns and uh, kept eating those honey buns. And uh, I noticed as I kept eating the honey buns, the devil began to pack weight on my body. I began to grow in Christ. 
people used to tell me as a child, one day you're going to be big in ministry. <laughs> Look at somebody say, and it came to pass. Come on. <laughs> and you know, when you gain weight, people, especially in church, they'll tell you you're gaining weight. I'm talking about people bigger than you. <laughs> and that's dangerous for me uh, because I didn't tell y'all this. I used to have a strong, very vibrant cussing ministry <laughs> that I retired from. But the enemy sometimes make me try to come up back up out of retirement when people make me mad. But the Lord spake unto me softly, medication. The Lord spake unto me. He spake, I cried unto him. He spake unto me a resolution. You ever heard somebody create a word you don't even know, but you ain't sure that this is a word and not yourself? You just leave them alone. And he said, the next time somebody come up to you and talk about your weight, you let them know this is not weighed. He said, tell them this is increase. He said, tell them this is abundance. He said, tell them this is overflow. The I remember we used to be in church and our pastor would lie to us every week. he say, I'm getting ready to close. Fifteen minutes later, he say, I'm getting ready to close. Three days later, oh, we talking about he getting ready to close. You know, I grew up in uh, uh, Compton, California. Anybody straight out of Compton in here on the night? Clap your hands and yeah, yeah. We, we, we had one way of worshiping. The, I grew up and went to a white, predominantly white college, and <laughs> I went to my white friend's church, totally different experience, man. The service start on time, and this, when the pastor would pray, sound like he's talking to his best friend. He'd be like, well, Lord, here we are. <laughs> Just want to give you glory and honor. Amen. You know it's true. We, when we all get to heaven, what a day of, of rejoicing. It's going to be white choir sing the song like it's written. On Christ the solid. And they have a book. Rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. All men. They be out of church in 30 minutes. <laughs> How many of y'all know it's different at black churches? Clap your hand if you know it's different at black churches. You don't even know it's the same song. They be like, up, 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 on Christ. That's solid. That's solid. Rock, rock. I got to get ready to close, y'all. Huh? I got some DVDs I want to just make y'all listen. Y'all can take me home tonight when y'all get ready to just take me home. I want to give this to somebody. Just run down here and get you just by faith. Come and receive this. I got some DVDs. And listen, the first 25 or 50 people out there, I'm going to give some CDs away free. But I got some DVDs right now. Are you coming? To, that's it. Listen. She said, I did not get dressed for nothing. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Give them a round of applause. You got to move quicker, young man. You got to do better than that. <laughs> I got to do some impressions before I get ready to go to my seat. I'm so grateful to be here tonight, y'all. I got to do some impressions. I'll be in church sometime, uh, not at my current church, but churches I used to go to. You ever been in church and the preacher don't have his message together? I need that towel right now. Big brother sweat. <laughs> That's that increase. <laughs> yes, Lord. I'll be in church. You ever been in church and you fall asleep? because perhaps you stayed out too late at your club ministry the night before. <laughs> you ever been out at the club? Come on, be honest. You ever been out at the club and you look across the room and you think you see somebody from your church <laughs> and you start feeling condemned? 
before you realize, wait a minute, what they doing here? <laughs> I tell them I'm in there <laughs> to tell others about Christ. <laughs> I got to go everywhere to reach the lost. I, uh, I, uh, I used to be in church and I used to wonder, I'd be getting ready to fall asleep. I said, ooh, if they had a more exciting preacher, I'd stay away. I said, what would be like if Snoop Doggy Dog was in here preaching? Yo, saints, what's crack a lacking? Y'all know when I think about the thizzle, I used to dizzle. Made me want to give gizzle the prizzle for shizzle. Icky, icky, ooh wee. Then they have music ministry by Luther Vandross. Jesus love me so. This I know, yeah, yeah. For the Bible, it tells me so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then at the afternoon service, they have another guest celebrity preacher be Bernie Mac. I want to talk to you just for a couple of minutes. I ain't going to hold you long. Just want to show you something how to cook book. Then they have an altar call, Mike Tyson, come down for rededication. I just want the Lord to save me. Sanctify me, fill me with the pet of Holy Ghost. <laughs> I, uh, I love watching Christian television. I like Pastor Benny Hinn. Can you give me a little bit of hallelujah, just like they do on TVN? Oh, yeah, you got to give the stream. Precious dear people, lift your hands. <laughs> Hallelujah. Dear Jesus, I give you praise. Thanks for your anointing, Jesus. And the power of the Holy Ghost. What's happening right there, brother? Pastor Billy, this lady said she been standing here for three weeks. She said that she hasn't been able to pass gas. While you were praying, she felt something rip out to the left, and she's here. Hallelujah. Jesus, I give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. I love the Winans family. Anybody know Marvin Winans? Anybody? Clap your hand. I love Marvin Winans. He can take anything. You get filled with the Holy Ghost. Marvin Winans singing. Roar, roar, roar your ball. Gently down the stream. Oh, 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 oh. Manly, 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 manly. Life is but a dream, maybe CD. EFG. HIJ. LMNOP. QRS. Why and that it is. Now I've said my hey, 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 hey. I got to go, y'all. This is my third close. Can I do TD Jakes, y'all? Can I do TD Jakes and I'm going to my seat? Let me tell you something. Here's a serious word for the night. Your gift will make room for you. Oh, come on, y'all too quiet on that one. Your gift will make room for you. Just look at somebody. Don't touch them. Look at them and say, your gift will make room for you. Look, look at somebody and say, I don't care what your past was. You need to focus on what your present is and what God says your future is. Clap in hand, give the devil a migraine right now. <laughs> Praise him like I was going to give you a heated honey bun. I like Bishop TDJ. Listen, had the privilege. My gift put me at Woman Thou Art Loose. Y'all can keep playing. It put me at Woman Thou Art Loose in front of thousands and thousands of people. Listen, I'm not perfect. I got things that I am not proud of that have happened in my life. But can I tell you something? Apparently, God isn't focusing on my mistakes because he's too focused on my purpose future. Look at somebody and tell them with an attitude. Say, don't judge me. Come look and say, you don't know me like that. <laughs> I got to do T.D. Jakes. Now, just play some soft elevator music because I found out there are two Bishop T.D. Jakes. There's the calm one. He don't beg for money. He like Bishop Henry Fernandez. They don't beg for money. They ask, and it's to our advantage to give as unto the Lord. Clap them hands and tell them thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love coming here. Bishop called me. I just sing that song. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah, because you know you're going to be blessed. But Bishop T.D.J. is here coming. He said, listen, I'm so glad you joined us for today's broadcast. I'm going to share something with you today that's going to absolutely blow your mind. 
He be all calm. Then he go to Mega Fest and he lose it. Come on, y'all. I need you to act like we at Mega Fest. I need rolling chords, rolling thunderous chords. Yeah, that's it. Loud, loud. Everybody, everybody. He lose his mind. Come on, y'all. I need it. I need it. I need it. Listen, baby, when you get in trouble, when you get in a fix, God will come in. He will kick down the door. He will make a Wow. Wow. Wasn't that wonderful? Come on, one more time. Let's thank God for Roderick Rice.